How's it going everyone? In this video I'm going to show you the best background remover website that is not only free but offers high quality HD downloads. This is useful if you have the free version of Canva without the built in one click background remover. If you do have Canva Pro you can just select an image, click on effects, then click on background remover and it will do this for you. If you do have Canva Pro, this software still might be useful to you if you do stuff outside of Canva or if you just want to tell your friends. So stay tuned to the end and I'll show you how to get the best results out of this software using different examples and various techniques. If you find this video useful, feel free to like and subscribe and also like this video as this would help me get more views on YouTube. I would really appreciate it. So. Let's get straight to it. The website I'm going to use is pixlr.com and their new background remover feature. As you can see, it's a 100% automatic background remover for free. You can also batch remove backgrounds from images at the same time. The cherry on top is that you can save high quality images up to 16 megapixels. That's more than enough for any web images for social media or for your e-commerce store. Other online background removers charge you for downloading the higher quality images. This one doesn't. Now, this video isn't sponsored by them in any way. I've just come across this because I work in e-commerce during the day and I discovered this website and it's really saved me a lot of time. This information is correct at the time of filming, as you can see. So while it's here, while it's free, might as well make the, make the most of it. You don't have to log in or sign up to use it, so let's give it a go. I've got this picture of Ronaldo. As you can see, it works really well. You can zoom in using the scroll wheel on your mouse to check for details. Let's try another one. Just click on open image. Again, it seems to have found the subject and removed the background correctly. Now. On closer inspection, you can see that parts of his hands is removed, so we can use the fine tune feature here. The first thing I would do is click on hint removed, and you can toggle that on and off to see what background looks like. I mean, the rest of it seems okay. I'm just going to zoom back into his hand toggle that on and off then click mode keep now the brush size is quite large so I'm just going to reduce that down and reduce the softness and now I'm going to click on areas of his hand to restore it I might want to sharpen up the edges just a touch reduce that even more You definitely will need a steady hand for this. Now, if I click on hint removed, it doesn't really show his fingers, but it looks like his fingers could possibly be missing. So I might try and fill that in a bit more just to give it a more natural look. Okay. That looks much better. Okay, if you wanted it even more perfect, you could remove some background from between his fingers. Make sure the mode is on remove. So what I'll need is a really small brush size for this. So I might drop it down to small and then reduce the softness even more. And if I just zoom in on his fingers, then I can just reduce some of the background between his fingers like so. I mean, you can play around with this as much as you want. You can see you can even select individual pixels on his fingers to make it look even more natural. The same on this side, if I zoomed in here. You can see I could remove some of the background from his fingers. 
Mm, okay, that looks better. You can play around with the size and softness as much as you want and then fill in any gaps. But if you were just making uh, a web image, for example, this would be good enough. And then you can click the hint removed to see everything that's selected. Let's have a look at another example and I'll show you a few more of the features included. I'll just open up this image of some crayons. As you can see, the image file is too large, so it asks you to resize it. I'm just going to resize it to 600 by 400, so it's easier to upload. So in this example, it didn't work so well. So what I'll need to do is click on fine tune. Let me just zoom in a bit. Now what I'll do is use the magic tool here increase the tolerance to around 80 then if I click on this yellow background it should detect similar colors and remove that so I'll click on that it's done a bit it's got a little line here okay it seems to have removed the yellows now this one will be tricky because I've got a yellow crayon with a yellow background so if I clicked on this it will remove the yellow crayon as well because it detects similar colors. So what I'm going to do is use the next feature called the shape tool. I'm going to select a square and then I'm just going to create a square and go down the side and remove a whole block of the background like that. Now you might need to do that a couple of times to get the whole thing. You can even use the triangle tool here to take away some of the edges. So if I click here and then go up, I can take some of the edges away. What I might want to do is refine that along there. Then you can use the draw tool to tidy it up. You can fine tune this as much as you want. There is even a lasso tool if you wanted to remove whole sections. You just click and drag over a particular section, connect the dots, and then it will remove it. Let me just get these bottom crayons and it removes it. And then if I draw a circle around it, obviously you need a steady hand if you wanted to do this properly. There you go. Once you've finished, just hit download and download the PNG version of the file. You can then save that wherever you want. To get the best results first time, your image should have a clear subject with edges clearly defined. If not, you can still fine tune it. If it's super complicated, then you may have to use a photo editor and use the selection tool they have. There are limitations with this. You can't go back a step you can't undo a step so you'd have to redo the whole image from from scratch also there isn't a magnetic lasso tool so you couldn't magnetically select these images it's just a regular lasso tool from using this tool it's definitely a useful tool that you can add to your content creation arsenal it does work most of the time first time Hope you found this useful, feel free to like and subscribe for more videos and also sign up to my newsletter at learnwithseb.com to receive more useful tools straight to your inbox. So I'll catch you in the next one.